Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from May 20th to May 26th, 2017. Chasing down a story from last month, we keep hearing that there's decline in polar bear populations because there's no sea ice for them to roam around on. Uh, contrary. Sea ice off Newfoundland thickest ever. Too thick for Coast Guard cutters. And surprisingly, polar bears are coming ashore off that sea ice. Several of them had to be put down because they were actually a danger to the public. Twilling Gate. Where'd we see this before? Oh yeah, that's where they're having all the iceberg tourism this year, 2017. Also, you've been told that the ice is descending into minimum of all time. Well, it doesn't really look like it on this chart here by the NSIDC. Oh, and Arctic temperatures? Yeah, they're a little bit below normal this time of the year for the last three weeks. Even though there's sea ice now and they, none of the models came true of all the melting, well, now it's because it's not old enough ice. Regardless of the age, it still has an albedo effect, reflecting sunlight back to space. And that's exactly what Lee Wheelbarger and myself talked about on episode 23 of Mini Ice Age Conversations. The Late winter storm Valerie spinning over the central U.S., dumping on the crops again. Record snow over three feet also record low maximum temperature set a look back a day and a half ago at the freezing temperatures oh let's look at today may 22nd and 23rd cloudy skies rain and in the 40 degree fahrenheit range that's always expected in global warming environments especially when it's almost summer atmospheric anomalies abound as the mini ice age intensifies ground to sky lightning multiple dozens of instances of this across oklahoma and the central plains states also major thunderstorms across the acadian peninsula and ontario in canada leaving at least 60,000 people without power and as that storm departs here comes another one off the Pacific, which would be expected as the intertropical convergence zone shifts during the mini ice age onset. Just a single month ago, the first time ever seen in our skies, Steve. They called it a proton arc. This is when we had that intense geomagnetic storm with the blue and white aurora. The power outages across the northern hemisphere in different cities occurred at the same time, along with the electrified skies over Europe. Now, that same first time ever seen light is back again, but this time it's absolutely visibly a Birkeland current in our skies with a twisting field aligned currents looking something straight out of Chinese legend. And then another ramp up in electrical activity, ground to sky lightning, rare red sprites, rare gigantic blue jets across the planet being seen this was first seen in 2015 by the international space station definitely a ramp up and when we start to see these different energies can they be harnessed test the coil in a pyramid dr sam white the book he wrote the climate rebellion in the early modern ottoman empire details many ice age fluctuations in ottoman lands nomadic incursions disillusioned population food price rises during the same time that the ming dynasty was collapsing in those same decades famines disillusioned population and infighting this follows on the 15th century so cold people had to use fire to melt their wine bottles so they could drink it but interestingly low temperatures lasting until april and may oh damaging grain aren't we seeing that right now planet-wide the reason I bring it up to you is, well, we're forecast to go into a grand solar minimum right now. And you see that yellow circle where the modern minimum low was? We're going to be reaching that same point off the high in around 2024. As we descend into this grand solar minimum, our weather is going to continue to get more mixed up. And I mean intense amplification begins in July and August. We're already starting to see it. Massive dust storms coming across Africa second time only ever witnessed kind of lows over the southern united states hot and cold mixing through europe that they rarely see below freezing temperatures still in the central united states you got these crazy solar coronas food prices rising this is now included in fish the beef the wheat the oats the vegetables food price rise fears taking hold 
which means that our current economy revolves around food prices. You spend more on food, the rest of the money comes out of the disposable economy and bye-bye economy. Enter Consensus 2017 New York City on the blockchain. If you don't know Ethereum Alliance, these are all the members. These are the global 500 and the global banks that are moving into blockchain, specifically Ethereum, to build the platforms for instruments of settlement, online payment systems, and contracts. There's some huge names, JP Morgan, ING, BP, CME Group, Deloitte, Credit Suisse, Microsoft. And if you take a look at the coin cap and the prices themselves up and up, Fidelity is now mining Bitcoin. And I want you to notice 21 Inc. Where do we see them before? They're the ones planning to put a micro Bitcoin processor in every single iPhone and mobile device across the planet to help facilitate the blockchain movement. Everybody's a miner. This will take away the strain that's the limiting factor right now in this thing going global. Internet outage across the United States. Problem with that is if you're holding any of your coin in a wallet online, specifically Coinbase, service unavailable, it's time to start thinking about a treasure. And if you're unfamiliar with anything in the crypto world, the economic collapse has begun. That downgrade of China is the ushering in of the end of our present global unbacked fiat currency system. The replacement is cryptocurrency. Welcome to the new world. Cryptocurrency meets mini ice age.